Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to root the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. Okay, so before we begin, this only works on Windows because the tool that we're going to use is a Windows tool. Uh, make sure you perform a backup of your device, like saving any photos to your computer, syncing all your contacts and stuff with Google, etc. before you start. And if you don't have the Samsung drivers installed, click this link here and then click this, save that to your desktop, then double click it to follow the prompts and install the drivers. Then once the drivers are installed, we're going to go to settings, about phone, and look for model number. So you need this number because this procedure only works on specific versions of the S6 and the S6 Edge. So write that down and we're gonna use it for this next step. Okay, so we're gonna pull down the notification shade, tap on settings, then scroll down to about device then scroll down to build number and keep tapping that until it tells us we are a developer and we can hit back tap on developer options and then turn usb debugging on hit ok and then we're going to plug it in to our computer and this is just to get the drivers to install that we need and then once they install we're going to just unplug it then we're gonna head to Chainfire's auto root page by clicking the link there. Scroll down. You can actually use Control F to find the model. So in this case, G925. And then here you can see the ones that are supported. So G925T happens to be T-Mobile, which is what I'm using. So I'm gonna click the download link there, click download here and save that to your desktop. Next we're gonna right click that uh, zip file that we just downloaded and do extract Then open the folder that I just extracted everything to. We're going to right click Odin and hit run as administrator. Then we're going to turn off our device. And once it's off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume down, power, and the home button all at the same time. Keep holding it until we get this screen. Then we're going to read the warning and ignore it and push volume up. Then we're gonna plug it in via USB. Let it install the drivers if it needs to. Then in Odin, we're gonna click AP and choose the .tar.md5 file that is inside the folder that Odin was in, hit open. Now your phone should automatically reboot and you'll see it doing some stuff on the screen and then it'll reboot a couple times and you're all set and ready to go. If it doesn't and you're stuck on this screen like this because you have an S6 Edge, then we need to do one more thing. So we're going to, again, put it into download mode by holding down power, volume down, and home at the same time. Push volume up. And we're gonna go back to the Chainfire page we're actually gonna grab the regular S6, which is the G920 and the G920T, because I'm using the T-Mobile version. Download and save that to our desktop. And then we're actually gonna flash the regular S6 for T-Mobile on top of it. So find that file now, so G920T and hit start. This time you should see this little blue Android with a bunch of things happening. So that's how you know it's working, let it go. Then when super user pops up, just hit grant. And that's how you know you have root access. All set, enjoy. And there you go, hope that helped you out. You can now go on to Flash Custom Recoveries, ROMs, use root required apps to get rid of bloatware, whatever you want, um, whenever those things are all available, of course. Um, and if you liked this video, please thumbs up it or share it, it is greatly appreciated. Um, and if you want more videos on how to get the most out of your device, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, Thanks for watching.